Hey, good evening, everybody. This is Sportsman News. I'm Joe Boric, and the Phillies did not have a good evening due to Angel Hernandez and their lackluster hitting performance again. That continued from their struggles minus the last game and a few mixed-in hits here and there that got them the five runs spaced out in well, well, particularly in uh, spaced out amongst innings, I should say, in that game against the Rockies in the second game. It's kind of continued for a while. The Phillies get their kind of these patch runs, I would almost call them. In different patches of the game, they score but don't score overall. Where in this, they had no patch of the game that they were able to score. Their offense has to get more consistent as a whole. It can't be so doubles, homers, a lot. I understand that's where the wave of the damn games go, and I don't agree with it, but it is where it's going. But you do have hitters like Castellanos and Bohm who can control all fields. On your team, why the hell don't they utilize? Um, well, they do utilize those guys well because I guess those guys are doing well. But it, the problem is you have too much strikeouts above those guys in the lineup, so those guys don't get the opportunity to really hit enough guys in. That's really the way I should put it, and it pisses me off consistently with this team. Yes, Angel Hernandez, like he does in most games, he almost sucked out there, but. You can't blame it fully on him because you then have to adjust as a hitter, expand the strike zone, and get it done. But at the same time, hats off to Kyle Schwarber. Angel deserves all the disdain. Great job by Kyle Schwarber to tell him that it was from both sides. Great job to it was from both sides that he made terrible calls as well. But this series, it was uh, similar to the Rocky series where they got dominated by Chad Cool. Then the Rockies bullpen was able to shut them down minus a Schwarber home run. Um, and Lawrence was able to get that win. And then in the final game, the Phillies were actually able to outscore the Rockies and win 9-6. to six. But it is what it is because they still lost this series. They were able to win the salvage game. In this one, it worked in reverse. The Phillies were able to have a good first game. Nick Nelson pitched good again in the first game as they had a 4-2 to two victory. And he became the winning pitcher. Knable got his third save. Uh, Ranger Suarez pitched solid in four innings. He's still not locked in Ranger yet that we hope to see soon, but has pitched solid this far this season and definitely has given them decent quality innings. Just hasn't gone as deep as you hope. Dominguez pitched good in this game. He's been roller coaster y this far since his return from injury. And Alvarado pitched okay in this game. He ended up giving up a run, but also had two strikeouts. Nelson pitched great and Knebel pitched great to close it out in that first game where, of course, the runs came on a double, or so again, double-driven, a single by Alec Bohm that was huge in that first game to make it 3-2 in the bottom of the eighth, and then Johan Camargo added on with a single of his own who has been a massive, one of the MVPs of the team early in the season, Bohm, Camargo, and Castellanos. One of those guys we expected to say, I don't think the other two we necessarily expected to say, and that's fantabulous to see this short time in the season. But for the Phillies, there's not enough great things to see this short time in the season thus far but at least those three have been fantastic to see and uh so is Corey Knebel as he picked up his third save in that game gave up a run tonight but still didn't pitch bad he just pitched a bad pitch to Andrew McCutcheon left it right over the plate wasn't a great game from him but obviously we've seen worse this year from other guys uh Norwood's been fine other than in one game Bellotti's been a pleasant surprise in four games so it's nice to have guys that can kind of be those dark horse uh come out of the dark um basically diamond in the rough guy pitch well out of your pen but you also need to see the offense pick it up enough as they had four runs in the first game three in the second game uh, where Adrian Hauser was able to get the win. Zach Will got the loss. Because in this game, the Phillies blew another lead. They went up 3 nothing again a double. Castellanos double. Gene Segura single, who's been good this year. The only reason I think his stats were down a bit because he had a great start, got injured, kind of trickled down for a couple games, and then got going again. And when it's this early in the season, your stats sway a lot when you obviously get outs. Uh, Castellanos then got a sacrifice fly. That was a third run. But then it all fell apart with Will pitching fine for four terrible fifth inning, gave up a single to Peterson, single to Adamas, single to Christian Yelich, who I think is going to have a bounce back year. I called that out of the gate this far. It's been an up and down year. And then Hunter Renfro hit a homer as well in this game. So uh, the, the, the Phillies, the, they just, they have one game or a couple sets of games that they look fine and then it kind of just falls apart again. Of course, they were able to win 
one in Colorado. They were able to win one in Miami where they broke out of their shell and scored 10 runs in Colorado to win. They broke out of their shell and scored nine runs. But it, it's only been like a handful of games they've done that. Otherwise, it's been two inconsistencies at the plate, too much swings and misses like they had against Lauer today, and too many strikeouts. Now today, yes, some of those strikeouts you couldn't control because Hernandez is a bad umpire. But at the same time, I'm not just talking about this game. I'm talking about as a whole this season. That's the way it's kind of been. Now, for the final game of the series, Aaron Nola pitched the gem. So that's a huge plus. He's only really pitched one bad outing this far this year. But in this game, he pitched a seven-inning gem, only gave up one hit, one walk, had nine strikeouts. He had a lot of swing and misses himself. He was playing his curveball off of his fastball really well, I thought, in this game. And the only poor performance he really had early was the seventh inning of the first game. And then the game that he had on April 13th, which was against the New York Metropolitans, he pitched bad in three and a third. But in five and a third, he didn't pitch bad against Colorado. He kind of just ran out of gas. And then the Phillies were not able to obviously do it. But against Milwaukee, he pitched a gem, deserved a win in this one. The boys were not able to pick him up on offense, and that's the reason they lost the final game of the series. It's also really the reason they um, lost the second game, too, because, yes, Zach Wheeler blew it. But the big thing is, when, to me at least, with this offense, even if your pitcher blows it and you're only down by two runs, the two, uh, two-run lead is probably the most dangerous lead. And you're not able to get it back with this offense, how dangerous it's supposed to be. Now, doesn't look like it as much this far this season. So the Phillies really need to get going because you need to earn the trust of having the benefit of the doubt from fans. And I don't think the Phillies really earned that because they've been terrible for the last decade. So obviously, they're not the team that has really earned that patience where, for me, I'm trying to keep the patience at this point. I will preach that, but I'm. it's tough because this lineup, when you lost so many games this year because of the lineup, when that's supposed to be your strong suit, that's the big issue I have. Yes, there's been a couple games that's been the pitching. Yes, Wheeler did blow the second game, but even at the same time, you're down by two freaking runs with that lineup. You should still be able to come back, and then you compound it by losing the game after that one to freaking nothing with this lineup that's inexcusable so the Phillies really need to get going they really need to wake up as they lose another series this time to the Milwaukee Brewers please need to subscribe down below or up above on the easy use which keep channel growing to 230 or more by the end of April thanks everybody have a great day